Hello guys, welcome once more to the GCE Math Panel Online. In this particular paper, we are looking at June 2018, question six of paper two, pure math mechanic, pure math statistics. Guys, we equally beg on you to please subscribe to this channel because we have a lot that has been produced, prepared, packaged, and preserved for you. If you subscribe to this channel, because some of the videos, only subscribers can see them. And secondly, most of our videos are not on YouTube. So you have to visit our blog at www.gcmaspine.blogspot.com where you can have the rest of these corrections. We equally pray on you to subscribe to this channel and to share this video to especially Facebook and all the WhatsApp study groups in which you find yourself because you might just be saving the life of somebody unknowingly. You might, you know how a lot of guys or students are having a lot of troubles and just a single post or a single share from you may save a lot. Please subscribe for more and you can get the complete solution from the link somewhere around this video or in the description below this video. Let's answer this question expressing x over x plus one x plus two in partial fractions. So this is a simple case. So this can be written as uh, x over x plus one into x plus two to be identical to a over x plus one plus b over x plus two. From here, we multiply all through by the denominator, you'll be left with x to be identical to a into x plus two plus b into x plus one. Now at this point, if x equals negative one, this will give us a to be equal to negative one when you substitute in this um, identity. And secondly, if x equals negative two, we have b to be equal to two. Therefore, this can be expressed as uh, 2 over x plus 2 minus 1 over x plus 1. If you look here, you notice that I have reversed the positions of a and b, okay? So a over x plus 1 has now become minus 1 over x plus 1, and b over x plus 2 has become 2 over x plus 2. It does not change anything. I just want to make the negative sign to be at that position. So you can still write it in front, and there will be no problem. Now, the solve 2 says, hence, solve the differential equation that, hence means we must continue with this solution or must use uh, this solution in this uh, second part of the equation. So hence, solve this differential equation. First of all, we have to arrange this differential equation uh, such that we can separate the variables. From here, if we multiply all through by dx, we will obtain x plus one into x plus two dy to be equal to x into y plus one dx. And from this point, the next thing we can do is to divide both sides by y plus one and by x plus one into x plus two. So on the right hand side, we have x over x plus one into x plus two dx. So we have separated the variables. We can now introduce our integral signs, dy on y plus one to be equal to the integral of, so instead of writing x over x plus one to x plus two, this is what I already expressed here in partial fraction. So I'm just going to copy it and it will be the, that integral at this particular position. This is the dx outside. So this uh, integral now gives us for the left-hand side, when you differentiate y plus one, that's the denominator, you have one, which is called the numerator. So the lean of the absolute value of the denominator of the left-hand side, okay? Then for the right-hand side, when you integrate uh, two over x plus two, that's going to give us two lean absolute value of x plus two minus the absolute value minus lean the absolute value of x plus one plus a constant of uh, integration. Okay, because now this question wants that um, for the for they're telling us that for x greater than negative one because uh, the domain this thing is defined as x greater than negative one. So, so given that y is equal to a half when x equals one express this in the form y equals f of x. So they want us to first of all find this constant. So at the point where x equals one and y equals a half, we substitute these values here. We will have lean a half plus one to be equal to two lean a one plus two minus lean one plus one plus c. Simplify all of this, give us c to be equal to lean three on two plus lean two minus two lean three, which is equal to minus lean three. So we have C to be minus lean three. Therefore, this uh, can be written as the absolute value of Y plus one to be equal to two lean absolute value of X plus two minus lean X, uh, absolute value of X plus one plus C, which is minus lean three. So we can now X simplify the right-hand side. Lean X plus two, that's two lean X plus two, the same as um, lean X plus two all squared. So that now gives us lean A minus lean B minus lean C. Then a minus lean b minus lean c, this as lean a over b plus bc. 
Well, a here is this x plus two squared. So this subtraction, you divide x plus one, subtraction, you divide again, and this is what you obtain. So from here, you have the absolute value of left-hand side equals the absolute value of right-hand side. Therefore, what you have in the in those uh, the, those cores, that is y plus one should be equal to x plus two all squared, all that over three into x plus one. And from there, if you make y the subject of the formula, we'll be left y equals x plus two all squared, all that on three into x plus one minus one. So that is the function expressed in the form y equals f of x. Guys, please subscribe to this channel. We are begging you to subscribe because some of the videos in this channel can only be seen by those who have subscribed. So like they're saying here, subscribe to watch paper three. Some of the papers, you will not see them if you have not subscribed. Only those who have subscribed can see some of those papers. Well, don't ask me how that works. You will find out if you subscribe. You will also find out if you have not subscribed and others tell you what they see. Who have subscribed we equally beg on you to share these our videos because that's the way you motivate us and tell us that guys what you are doing is good for us for good for our consumption and do more so from your subscription as i keep on coming we do more videos please visit our blog because most of our videos are not on youtube they're on our website and the website is on the link below you can equally see that below this page www.gcmaspire.blogspot.com where you will have past questions not just mathematics in all other subjects, you have past questions here. You will have a free online study groups. And this year we are beginning with an online free school. That's an open school where you can prepare for the GCE online. Guys, please subscribe, share this information, share this on Facebook, on YouTube, on WhatsApp, and all other panels in which you find yourself. And may God bless you abundantly as you prepare to write your exam. Bye, bye.